Today I'm going to show you some modifications you might want to do to your new KATMRD Signature Gigaparts Carbon Fiber Mast to not only prevent losing the cap, but also some guying uh, points here on this. This is something that I typically do with most of my masts. For example, here is my Pactena 10 meter mast. You can see I've got a little uh, paracord on here to keep from losing the cap, and I've also got some uh, little loops here for guying. And I've even got that on my uh, Soda Beams Carbon 6. If you don't do anything else, make sure you do this step. You don't want to lose your cap out in the field. Ask me how I know. So I had a viewer ask how to guide this out in the field if you don't have trees, and I'm going to show you. So we're going to create two guide points, one here at the top and one here at the bottom. And I'm going to use this. This is 1 8 inch paracord here. So I'm going to cut uh, six lengths of six inches, and we're going to tie them into little loop knot things. So let's do that. If I could find my scissors. One, count with me, two, three, and six. Now we'll get a lighter and torch the ends of all these so they're not fraying anymore. So now I'm going to put the ends together and we're going to attempt to tie them in a little overhand knot so we make a loop like that. But you want to get all that slack out. All right. Tighten it up. There. So it'll look like that. And if you want, go ahead and hit it with the lighter again. Kind of lock them into place there. Like such. And do that five more times. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like that. Now I'm going to take another length of paracord. This time I'm going to cut it about nine inches for the cap. You actually want this a little longer than you'd think. And go ahead and quickly melt our ends. Now we can remove our cap and we're going to drill a hole right in the top in the center. Ish. Just like that. Now we can feed our paracord through the hole we just made and we'll tie a little pretzel knot in here. Cinch that up, and now that ain't going anywhere. And we're also going to tie another pretzel knot to the top here, just like such. Next, I like to take some electrical tape, and we're just going to put a couple wraps here for friction and also for, for so we don't scratch our beautiful mast. So you don't need much, just a couple turns there. Cut that, and we'll put our cap on. Go ahead and clamp everything down onto the mast. Before we tighten it down too much, we want to make sure that we evenly space our guy lines roughly in kind of, you know, a triangle. Yeah, roughly like that. Doesn't need to be perfect. Then we can start tightening this down. Don't over tighten it. And that's pretty good there. Put some downward force on it. Give her one more little there. No, that's not going anywhere. And that is what we're looking for. So we can take our cap off never lose it, and we have places to attach a guy line. Now we also want to do the same thing to the bottom because if it's a windy day and you don't have anything guide down here, this can kick out and fall over. So having it guide in two places is going to be more better. So we're just going to rinse and repeat, a little electrical tape our little guy loops, 
slide it over and we'll just get it started a little bit and space them out evenly. And it looks good enough for government work and tighten her down without over tightening. Now how we're gonna actually guy this, I made three three foot lengths of paracord with these S beaners on it clipped into one side of the loop that we're going to attach to the top guying point like such on all three sides like that. Now to actually guy this, we can just take some stakes that also have some uh, a carabiner on it and clip them into the bottom loops of our guy rope here. And we can just stake two of them into the ground at an angle, stand the guy up, take our third paracord, pull some tension on it, stake that in the ground, and now we are guide. We can take our top off, pull the mast out, and extend it all the way just like this. And now for these bottom little loops, I tend to just use a stake with a carabiner on it. And we'll just clip them through the loop and stake it in the ground for all three of them, like such. And force her in there. And now that's not going anywhere. Now you could actually use more paracord if you make a couple more uh, like three foot lengths or whatever. And you could put a little more tension on either of them, but this has worked successfully uh, for me in the past with very high winds and other masts. So that is how I do it. And now you can see we've got a very securely guide mast. This thing isn't going anywhere because it is nice and secure. And once you're done and you've dropped your mast, because we have secured the cap, we did not lose it and we can put it right back on.